So let's talk about copying, moving, and renaming files. Now I'm sitting here in my home directory and remember we can tell that by the little tilde up here. That ident That's a shortcut that identifies my home directory or if I type pwd it will tell me that I'm in home David. So I'll take a look and I have no files here. So I'm going to create a file and remember we talked a little bit earlier about using touch to create a file. So I'm going to touch file one. And now if I do an LSL, we'll see that I have a file. It has nothing in it. It's size zero, but I do have a file named file one. Now let's say I want to copy this to a different location. I'm going to start by creating a couple of folders for me to play with. So I'm going to do MKDIR folder one and MKDIR, DIR, boy, I can't type today, folder two. <sighs> MKDIR. There we go. Folder two. Now, if I do my LSL, you'll see I have two folders, folder one, folder two, and I have a file called folder or file one. Now I want to copy uh, file one into folder one. So my Linux command to copy is CP. And the way CP works is we give it the source destination file and then, or the, let me try that again, the source file and then the destination file. So I want to copy file one into folder one. Now this will work. I'm using what's called a relative path here. So I'm, this will work because it will copy file one into folder number one. <sighs> Let me copy file one. Now it should work. There we go. Now I can also do this using an absolute path. So to do a relative path, the paths are relative to where you're at in the file system right now. So since I was in my home directory, that command copy file one to folder one is basically the same as this. This would be the whoops, wrong thing. Copy forward slash home forward slash David forward slash file one to forward slash home forward slash David forward slash folder one. In fact, let me go ahead and move that into folder two. And we should see that that works as well. So I'm going to do ls folder one. And there's my file. ls on folder two. And there's my file as well. All right. So that second example, this one right here, I use an absolute path for both the uh, file and the, or for both the source and the destination. So that absolute path always starts with the root or the slash uh, directory and then includes the entire path to the file. The absolute path does it or the relative path does it relative to where you're at. So since I did CP file one, it assumes that I mean file one inside my current location. It's not home directory. It's wherever you're at in the file system at that moment. And then folder one, it assumes the destination is going to be there. Now I can create a duplicate copy of my file as well, just by giving it a, a another name rather than a folder location. So I can copy file one to file two. Now, when I did copy it to folder one, it saw that folder one already existed. It saw that it was a folder, so it assumed I wanted to put that file in that folder. Now it's going to see that file two doesn't exist, so it's going to assume that I want to create another copy of the file. And now I have file one and file two. Okay. Now let's say I want to move. So a copy creates a duplicate in a new location. So let's say I wanted to move file two into folder one. So to move means I take it out of my current location. I put it in my new one. Technically I could do a copy and then a, um, a remove to delete the existing file, or I can just do MV and MV will move from file two to folder one. Okay, what that should do is I should take my file to out of the location that I'm at and put it in my new location folder one. So now if I do an ls, I don't have file one here. But if I do that same thing on folder one, I should have my file in there. So I have successfully moved the file from um, the location that I was at into my folder one directory. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. 
Now, what if I want to move the entire contents of a directory? So I'm going to create a new folder, mkdir, and I'm going to create a folder three. And now, whoops. Let me real quick do an LSL. And you'll see what happened when I did this command right here, folder space three. What it did is it assumed that I was trying to create two folders. It assumed that I was trying to create a folder named folder and a folder named three. And so it created those two folders for me. These copy move commands will work with multiple objects at the same time. If you put multiple objects in the source, it or the MKDAR case, uh, make directory. If you put multiple file names or folder names, it will create multiple objects at the same time. It'll copy multiple objects at the same time. You get the idea. Okay, so I'm going to do an LS on folder one, and you're going to see my two files there. And then on folder three, you're going to see nothing. So I want to copy all of my files from folder one to folder three. So I'm going to do CP folder one to folder three. Now, this actually generates an error for me. So the copy uh, command by default will copy files, not contents of folders. Now, it did actually tell you what the issue was. So right here, cp r not specified dash r is going to be a parameter and it's called the recursive parameter. And since we didn't specify that, it decided to not do folder one. So what recursive does is it tells it to do, and the recursive uh, parameter is one that you'll use with a lot of different uh, commands. And what it does is it says, include this object and everything underneath it. So if I do a cp-r for recurse, recursive from folder one to folder three, now it should copy all of my files from folder one to folder three. And so if I do an LSL on folder three, you'll see that, ah, it moved my folder there. So it copied the entire folder. It didn't copy the contents of my folder. Let's do an LS-L folder three forward slash folder one. In other words, look at folder three and inside that look at folder one and there you're going to see the files. So it copied my entire folder and the contents of the folder. That wasn't what I wanted. I wanted to copy all of my files from folder one to folder three. So how can I do that? Well, let me start by removing, I'm going to go into my CD folder three and I'm going to remove folder one. Now remember, this is going to be the same thing. We can't remove it because it's a directory. But if I do a remove dash R for recursive, that will actually get rid of all of it. So in my LS shows that I have nothing in here. And my prompt now shows me that I'm in folder three. So I'm going to do CD period period and LS dash L to see what I've got. Now I want to copy all of my files from folder one to folder three. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to do a copy folder one slash asterisk. And that means copy everything to folder three. Now I didn't do the recurse. So I didn't do the dash R for recursive. So it will only copy files. If I had folders under there, it wouldn't copy them. Then I'd need to do the copy dash R folder one asterisk. So now if I do an LSL on folder three, I should see that I have file one, file two. Okay, now let's say I want to rename a file. <clears throat> this is, there isn't actually a rename command built into Linux by default. Now there are some tools you can install to simplify renaming. There's some scripts, that can help, but by default, there isn't one there. What we do is we use the move command. So a move command, remember, will take something from one location and put in another. So what I can do is I can use that to change a file name as well. And let me show you what this will look like. Let me do an ls-l in my current location, and you can see I have a file one. So I want to rename that to file three. So I'm going to move file one to file three. And this will do basically the same thing as a rename. And you can see there it renamed my file. Okay, so 
that's how we'll copy, move, and rename files in uh, Ubuntu Server.